Republican Congressman Glenn Thompson attended his son, his gay son's wedding last week. And under any other circumstance, it would not be news, right? Just a happy day for a congressman and his family. But get this, only three days before the wedding, Thompson voted against the bill to protect same-sex marriage. Thompson was one of 157 House Republicans who voted to oppose the legislation, which would codify same-sex marriages and interracial marriages into law. That bill now needs at least 10 Senate GOP votes to pass the Senate. So let's discuss now. Senate political commentators Adam Navarro, Scott Jennings are both here. I, don't, I mean, what's wrong with good evening? Codifying marriage and, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, Anna, listen to this. Um, Thompson's office said that the congressman and his wife were thrilled to attend his son's nuptials and are very happy to welcome a new son-in-law into the family, but his office did not respond to CNN when asked why he voted against the bill. Does that make any sense to you? Well, first of all, let me tell you, Congressman Thompson's son and the new son-in-law are the two most forgiving, gracious, nicest gays I've ever met. Because if uh, my father had voted against protecting and safeguarding the sanctity of my marriage uh, three days before my wedding, if I, I think if I had been his son, Congressman Scott would have been sitting outside on a chair in the hottest day of the year, uh, you know, and see how that goes, Dad. Look, I think it's painful. It's painful, and I can't believe people who put... You know, it's hard to understand people who put politics over country. It's even harder to understand people who put politics and political ambition over family. And let me talk to you about two Republicans who didn't. One is my friend, Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton, who's be, who, former Congresswoman, who became a leader on this issue. And another one is Senator Rob Portman, who's got a gay son, William, and who's the person, the, the uh, Republican who has signed up uh, to co-sponsor this bill in the, in, the, in the Senate. And so I, you know, <sighs> politics should not be thicker than you. blood. So, listen, I, I do have to say that we, you know, we asked Congressman Thompson to join us on this very program. We haven't heard back. He's welcome, because I want to hear what he actually says. And actually, I want to hear, I would love to have his son uh, and the new husband on. But, Scott, what do you think of this? Yeah, I, I don't know. Congressman Thompson wouldn't pretend to know what the relationship is between uh, him and his son. Uh, so I obviously think it's very personal. I did read his office's statement when he cast the vote against it, and his office said that, he was voting no because he thought it was a show vote and it was a distraction from the real issues of the day. So I take him, him and his office at his word on that. I, you know, I, I think obviously this is a very personal deal between him and his son. I, I wouldn't even pretend to know, you know, what, what, what's going on between them. And, and I'm, I'm glad that he went. I, candidly, I, I know some people who've had similar situations in their family where the parents chose not to attend and chose not to engage, which I, I think is incredibly sad, to be honest with you, and uh, when people can't celebrate as family. So uh, it's, a, it's a strange situation, and, um, you know, I, I, it sounds like from his office's statement, Don, they want to keep the relationship between him and his son more private. Yeah. I, I don't know what other, you know, business of the day, but there, this is a pretty important one. I think marriage between two individuals, regardless of race or sex, that's kind of important. GOP Senator Marco Rubio, who last week told CNN that the bill was a stupid waste of time, had this to say after criticism from Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who is gay and in uh, a married relationship with a same-sex married so relationship. Problems. I'm not going to focus on the agenda that dictated by a bunch of affluent elite liberals and a bunch of Marxist misfits who sadly today control the agenda of the modern Democratic Party. This is, Scott, a real problem for LGBTQ Americans who, you know, could stand to lose rights. Do you think your party is on the wrong side of this issue? Well, I think if you look at the polling on gay marriage specifically, it's moved a long, long way from just 10 years ago, 15 years ago, even really five years ago. I think a, a majority of Republicans now support it, a, a pretty wide majority of Americans now support it. I do think you're going to see different people act in different ways for jurisdictional reasons. I think people who, who represent more rural states that have more weekly churchgoers are going to probably feel one way. I think people that uh, represent other kinds of constituencies are going to feel another. For what it's worth in the Senate, I think you're going to see a split conference just like you saw in the House. 
My presumption is, Don, it's going to pass in the Senate. It'll, it'll get at least 10 Republican votes. I don't know who they all are yet, but my presumption is it's going to get there. So, uh, which candidly would have been unthinkable 10 years ago. So I do think the Republicans have moved somewhat on this. Uh, it just at, at, at the same time, popular opinion has moved as well. Yeah. And listen, at more rural, look, I grew up in a rural area. They needed it the most. <laughs> there were more gays in the rural area <laughs> than, than you could shake a stick at. But listen, but no one came out. And that was very detrimental to a lot of people, that people did not come out and they couldn't, they, they couldn't live and be themselves. And to this day, they are suffering the consequences of that. When I, I know people who never came out or who couldn't come out until late in life, as you do, and there's always something that messes with their head and they end up doing bad things and because it's just, it's just a ripple effect. But you were talking about people who changed. I mean, Liz Cheney changed, right? She supported the, the House bill. She's someone who changed her views because of her, her gay sister, right? Look, I think, it's, I think it's her gay sister, yes. I think knowing somebody who's gay, I think knowing somebody who's gay in a committed relationship uh, changes you because you're yeah. seeing it. And I don't know how you... how. Republicans can call themselves the party of family values and vote against safeguarding And the family marriage. of freedom. When you talk about freedom and liberty, because here's what Liz Cheney said on, on CNN. She justified her support for the bill on CNN, saying uh, freedom means freedom for everybody. That's supposed to be the basis of the, cons of the Republican Party, freedom for everyone, and Don, limited government. Listen, it's not li just Liz Cheney who's changed, right? Listen, Barack Obama changed on this. I right. remember when I first met Barack Obama in 2008, he, he was not pro-marriage equality. Today he is. So the entire country has changed. Over 71% of Americans now support gay marriage. And this bill was not just about gay marriage. This bill was about interracial marriage, right. interethnic marriage, marriage between different nationalities. It is protecting the, the institution of marriage, which Republicans hang their hat on so much. And I think, you know, I, I can think of, of so many gay friends of mine, Floridians, who are married, and some of them have gay children who are married, who are Marco Rubio donors. And I'm going to be calling those people, and I'm going to be telling them, you know what? You should tell them, you should tell Marco Rubio that giving him money and supporting him is a royal, stupid waste of time. So only, so only gay leftists are, only leftists or elite leftists are gay? Is that, well, does I that know. make sense listen, to you, today, Scott? Well, listen, Marco Rubio today, everything that comes out of his mouth is a noun, a verb, and socialist, Marxist, Leninist. Yeah. I, I got to go, Scott. But uh, listen, we'll, we'll continue this conversation. But thank you all. I got to tell you one thing. You talked about Barack Obama. Um... I went to a White House Christmas party with Barack Obama when he was president. And after I came out, he said, to, you know, you go to lunch. Right. And he said to me, he and the first lady said, Don, you did the right thing. That's probably the only thing I remember that he, he said a lot to me. I remember when he was a state senator when I was in Chicago. I used to cover him. But that was one of the things that, I, that stood out to me. He said, you did he the right thing. He wasn't pro-gay marriage when he and was running. I said, you did the right thing as well because he changed his yeah, mind. Yeah, he did. Thank so, you. Uh, Joe Biden pushed him into yeah. it. There remember. You Thank you.